hi welcome again in this video i'm gonna show you how to add virtual height field mesh support for your project very easily so let's have a look at what virtual height field mesh is or right, here you can see a simple pathway that i painted over landscape and it looks nice from this angle but then i go to a slight angle like this i don't see any details in it because we can see the details just using the normal maps it's flat over here but with virtual height field mesh we can get the details back like this now i can see the actual geometry in it i can play the game and you can clearly see i'm walking on actual rocks and it feels really nice i can also show you the uh, mesh view you can see i'm walking on the real geometry and it looks really nice in unreal engine 5 tessellation is completely removed and virtual height field mesh is the only way that you can create dynamic geometry inside the gpu so in this video i'm going to show you how to use virtual height field mesh without worrying too much about configuration and material changes first of all in this tutorial we are going to use open land as the landscape material as well as we are going to use some of the tools comes with open land to make this happen you can get open land from the marketplace and also if you're using this for a non-commercial project or just trying out you can download it from github for free and check the description for all these links and then go to edit project settings and search for virtual and here we have a section called virtual textures and here we have a option called enable virtual texture support make sure to enable that and then you will ask to restart your project but don't do that wait then go to edit plugins and here search for virtual and here we have a plugin called virtual height field mesh and enable that as well also search for scripting and here we have a plugin called editor scripting utilities make sure to enable that as well right after that close this file save all and then close your project and restart it from the beginning all right now we are inside the project again and i have a landscape created using open land in this project now we are going to paint a pathway on this landscape so we can uh, try to add this displacement or virtual height field mesh support i'm going to open my landscape tools modes landscape and in open land we have a layer called custom one so basically we can add custom textures into this i'm going to select that layer i'm going to select the layer info and then i'm going to reduce the size brush size a little bit then i'm going to paint like this all right now i have a simple pathway and i think this is just enough for this tutorial right now we don't have a texture here that's why we can see something uh, ugly like this so i'm going to close this landscape tools and save this just to make sure everything is good then i'm going to open the landscape material in the landscape details panel landscape material i'm going to open this here we have the material instance comes with uh, open line and i'm going to search for custom one so this is the layer that we painted now we're gonna put some textures over here i already downloaded some textures from megascan with some really nice looking uh, displacement in it so i'm gonna use them over here i can simply drag them over here albedo to the texture layer and displacement to the height slot normal map and as well as the roughness map right i'm gonna save this i'm gonna keep this in somewhere like here right then i can play my game i can see some details with the normal map but i don't see any 3d or actual geometry in it and that's what we are trying to do right now all right let's add virtual height field mesh support go to your content directory open land and here we have directly called widgets and inside that we have a couple of widgets and i'm going to use the open land hf mesh widget i'm going to right click on this and click this first item run editor utility widget and then I'm gonna simply hit this big button then it will show me some instruction to follow but i'm gonna show you how to do that here inside the world outline it will add some some objects like rvt volume height and material and also virtual hm mesh first i'm gonna select this rvt volume height and from the uh, details panel here we have a section called virtual texture i'm gonna select a virtual texture called rvt open land height this is important you need to select this one rvt open land height and in the other one rvt volume material select that from the well outline and from the virtual texture select the rvt open line material 
and then we can configure the RPD support for this project. And for the virtual height field mesh, we have another object inside the world outline and select that. And then in the details panel, we have a section called height field and from the virtual texture, select RVT volume height. And it is important, you need to select this RVT volume height. Now we have added the virtual height field mesh support. You can verify that by going to lit brush wireframe and you can see some additional geometry here. I can select this virtual height field mesh. From this yellow color, I can see the virtual height field mesh geometry. I can hide this and like this. And I'll, I'll show you in a moment how to configure all these settings and get more geometry and control how the distribution and a lot of things. Now it's a good idea to save this project and reopen your level. In this case, my level is main. I'm gonna double click and open this. Then I'm gonna play the level I, I still don't see any additional geometry and I'm gonna add this right now go to your material instance grab it over here and here we are looking at the custom one that's the layer that we painted scroll it a little bit down here we have a option called custom one displacement multiplier and try to change this value for example let's put something like 50 right now you can see actual geometry in this project in this case 50 is kind of high for this texture I'll go with something around 30 yeah it looks nice I can play this level right and I can see some some geometry over here and if you if you think you need more and uh, you can simply increase it from this place like this all right this is the basics of virtual height field mesh now we know how to get virtual height field mesh support to any Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5 project. Now I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can configure this virtual height field mesh. So basically you can get more geometry and how to uh, tweak the performance based on that. Then I'm going to go to the lit brush wireframe mode. All right, I'm looking at something over here. Now you can see some geometry over here and it is quite dense compared with the original, but it's not too dense but I would like to have more geometry close to my camera and this is how we can do this. Now uh, select your RVT volume height from the world outline. Go to the details panel and here we have something called virtual texture. Inside that virtual texture we have the RVT virtual texture for height and double click that. So this is the virtual texture that contains the actual height information of the landscape. So you can simply increase the resolution over here and the geometry density in my virtual height field mesh also going to increase. Let me show you. Here I can see the value over is 7. I'm gonna put something like 9 over here. Now you can see in my virtual height field mesh I have more geometry over here and it looks really nice. With this I can get more details from the textures. Actually it's much better compared to the previous. Now I'm gonna show you a problem comes with this change. I'm gonna play this level. So in closer I can get really nice details then if you look at the pathway you can see the geometry is changing as the player walks here and there you can see the geometry is changing and it doesn't look nice and let me show you how to change this so let me open the brush wireframe mode again this is what happens if you're looking at closer to the camera you have more details but as soon as the camera fades away and the details of the geometry fades away and sometimes at somewhere over here, the fading effect is not that good with this distribution of resolution. And we can simply change that. And go to your virtual height field mesh, virtual HF mesh actor inside the world outline. Go to the details panel and search for LOD. And here we have an option called LOD distribution. Try to change this, try to increase this actually. As you increase this, the distribution changes. Now you don't see a like dramatic change close to the camera. As a byproduct of that, we're gonna increase the number of triangles in the scene. Sometimes it doesn't work well with your game and the GPU settings, but you can increase this and you can get more geometry over here. As you reduce this number, you can see more geometry very close to the camera, but in the distance, it doesn't look nice at all. And basically you can uh, change this value depending on your texture and how it works. In this case, I think 1.45, uh, it looks fine. All right, let me play this level. Now I don't have that problem anymore. So geometry is not changing uh, and, uh, and it looks quite natural. And the interesting thing is this virtual height field mesh is another mesh layered on top of your landscape like this. In technical terms, now you have two landscape 
which is layered on top of each other. And there is no way that you can remove the underlying landscape. That's the nature of it, but you have something additional on top. And the textures that you see on the virtual height field mesh is coming from the RVT. So it's not the actual texture and it's getting the data from the virtual texture. Sometimes it doesn't look good when we have both the actual landscape and the virtual height field mesh. So in that case, you can enable the RVT cache. So the, your actual landscape also using the data from the virtual texture. So in order to change that, open your landscape material, landscape, details panel, landscape material. And here search for RVT. And here we have option called use RVT cache. I'm going to enable this. Right now you can save this. Now your actual landscape as well as the virtual height field mesh is using the textures coming from the RVT. So, so we have the same textures on both virtual height field mesh and the landscape and, and it looks nice in some, some cases. Uh, that's something optional, but you can try to use it uh, if you feel, if you see some uh, differences in textures. And finally, I want to mention Virtual height field mesh is the only way that you can get dynamic displacement in Unreal Engine 5. So you can use the virtual height field mesh support in Unreal Engine 5 and you can use the same method that I showed you here uh, to get that functionality to your Unreal Engine 5 project. And to get open land for Unreal Engine 5, check the description and I have a special uh, link on how you can do that. Alright, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.